past months have sucked. Everyone knows that. But we've accepted this new life and we've adapted, right? People are working from home, students are doing online school, and we're having things shipped right to our doorstep. We think we've gotten used to it. We think we've adapted, but we still miss the life we used to have. The world is shut down, we can't have contact with anyone else, resources are low, this is basically a civilized apocalypse. And while these are the obvious big problems, there are smaller underlying issues that are just as important. In my film, I explore how isolation can affect your mental health. There's a reason we learn in classrooms and why remote learning has not been beneficial. We rely on each other to be fed our emotions. We crave each other for feedback, judgment, validation, knowledge, joy, everything. To be alive is to be with each other. Sure, you can have in-person interactions, but at a distance. Even then, you're not making a real connection. You can't have a conversation without worrying about getting too close. So when we don't have each other, we don't have our regular everyday activities like work, communication, gatherings. Without these things, we have nothing. We are left with a monotony of captivity. Where every day is the same, every meal, all your surroundings, you sit in your house doing the same thing every day waiting for change. But the thing is, you still have your responsibilities. You still owe people stuff, you need to work. But you don't have that same motivation from your regular work or school environment. All of my art has emotion behind it, whether it's happiness, envy, sadness. My most recent art, a short film, very clearly has emotion behind it. It comes from a place of hurt. The past few months have been filled with hurt. My film is a bit of a coping mechanism for that. An outlet to put all of my hurt then give to other people as something to relate to. But it in no way permanently fixes anything. It is a temporary bandage. A kickstart to get me running just for me to shut down again later. I had such a rush making this film. It took so long, I put so much work into it. It felt good to be productive. I felt like I finally had a purpose after months of doing nothing. Then after I posted it and got all that attention, all that success, I felt like my work and my purpose was validated. This feeling was too another temporary bandage. Then success turned into opportunities. While I'm so thankful for this, it is terrifying. You want attention until it's overwhelming. About my film. Written, directed, edited, and starring me with the help of My Tears Are Becoming a Sea by M83. Like I said, the overall idea is how isolation affects your mental health. The story follows a character in isolation looking at pictures and things that used to make them happy and trying to relive memories, but then falling back into their state of monotony, doing the same thing every day, just sitting alone in their room, doing online school. It's only three minutes and 22 seconds, but I've tried to condense all my feelings into it. Most of my art is like this. Very simple and short, but with hidden meaning. I believe it is so easy to smother something and overcrowd something to the point it's too busy and loses its meaning. I strive to keep my art just simple enough for people to understand it, but still complex enough so they want to learn more. So without further ado, here is my short film, Numb.